is Monday and the start of a brand new week. So, and this week is looking like it's not going to be very crazy, which is fine by me. So this morning started out just wonderful as normal. We had kids up, off to school, drop-offs made. I had a very productive morning in the fact that I got my Monday morning chores done, which is normally deep cleaning the kitchen. I got three loads of laundry done, and I even went out and did some quick little stuff at the grocery store for Emily, because she needed nylons. Who needs nylons these days? She's got a choir concert tonight, and I have to wear nylons, which is ridiculous, because I wear like these robes, you know? The fact that they have to wear nylons is ridiculous to me. But anyways, she needed nylons, so I had to go quick out, run out and get that, so. And it is now mm, about 11. So I am thinking I need to start thinking about some lunch because I have not had breakfast yet and my tummy is starting to rumble quite loudly. So um, what else is happening today? So like I mentioned, Emily's got her choir concert today. I think that, yeah, that is the only thing that's on the books for today. So that's kind of nice. I will have afternoon pickups and drop-offs for Carrie's kids. I may end up staying at her house a little while this afternoon because I know she is not feeling well herself. She counts, she's got some sort of cold, so that's not cool. So I don't know. We'll see how the day goes with that. And I, speaking of colds, I actually have a little Miss Zoe home today because she is feeling under the weather also, and I am crossing my fingers that it is not the dreaded flu that is going around and everybody seems to be getting it. It's a nasty thing and I don't want it in my house, so I'm hoping that is not what's going to be coming our way. I'm hoping she's just feeling poorly today and tomorrow she'll be better. That is my hope. So, I am going to get a few things done today. I have some major cleaning to do. My house just got trashed this weekend and it's partly my fault because I was so busy doing other things that I didn't keep up like I normally do. So my kitchen is taken care of. Now I just need to deal with the rest of the house. The kitchen and doing the laundry really, really helped put it on the right course. So now I just need to, to declutter quite a lot. So that is the plan for this afternoon. And I also want to get a little bit of food prep done for the week. I did a little bit yesterday, but I ran out of time to finish it. So I need to finish that up. So that is my plan for today and I will check in with you in a little while. Bye. Tuesday morning and now I'm looking a wreck because I have been cleaning all morning and I don't have to go anywhere this morning so I haven't bothered to like do anything more than brush my teeth and comb my hair so that's how it's gonna be today I think so I have been working this morning cleaning my living room and getting some work done around the house loads of laundry getting caught up on laundry finally Ugh. I don't know how like Two days of not doing laundry just puts me so far behind. I don't know why I do this to myself all the time. But I do it a lot. And I shouldn't, but I do it anyways. So, today is Tuesday. Zoe has volleyball tonight. But I don't know that she's probably not going to volleyball tonight. Because she is once again homesick again today. Um, she's been sleeping most of the morning. I know she's awake now, but she hasn't wandered out of her room at all. So... She doesn't have a fever, she's just feeling very, very poorly. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So, we shall keep an eye on that. And I guess that's it for now, and I will check in later. <sighs> I have lost my motivation. Mm. 
This morning I was doing awesome. I was getting everything I needed to get done. And then I had to kind of like wait around because JJ was trying to get out the door. And then I just kind of like, mm, okay, I'll have lunch. And then nothing happened after that. <sighs> I hate that. I had so many plans for today. But I just picked up a Coley. Hi, Coley. Can you say hi? Mm, he's not even going to look today. And I'm waiting on Sadie. So I'm going to get them taken home to Carrie's house. And then I'm going to come home and I'm going to force motivation upon myself. I'm going to get my stuff done. And hopefully I'm going to give myself a couple hours. And I'm going to get as much as I can get done in the next couple hours done. And if it doesn't happen in the two hours, it's just not going to happen today. And I'll take the rest of the evening for myself. And hopefully that will recharge my batteries. So that's my plan. And I'll check in with you later. Wednesday morning and over the night we got some snow a couple inches well if it was rain and then it turns to snow so it's like icy and delicious outside <laughs> but um so I need to get outside and do some shoveling later but I'm gonna wait till my husband leaves I think um what is going on today hmm I have nothing on the books today hence the no makeup look again I apologize if this is all scary but you know what why waste my makeup if I'm not going anywhere? That's how I feel today. So I have had a very productive morning again. Two loads of laundry. Got the kids off to school. Well, except for Zoe. Zoe is still sleeping. She is still not feeling well. I don't know what is going on with her. But hopefully she was feeling better yesterday evening. So we'll see. Maybe she'll end up going to school today. I'm not sure. So I just kind of let her sleep after attempting to wake her up and she wasn't waking up so I just let her sleep. So when she wakes up we will reassess the situation. Also this morning I have cleaned bathrooms. Wednesday is bathroom cleaning day. The day I dread of all the days but that is alright. And then of course I got dishes done this morning. So I am ready to sit down at my computer and do some editing and have some just relaxing sit down time because I feel very tired already and my back is hurting because shower washing is not fun. So I may be going to a quick little Target trip with my sister. I'm not sure how that is, if that's happening today or yet or not, but I just need a few little things like my husband's almost out of creamer and we could use another loaf of bread to get us through the week. So basically that is all that's going to happen today. I want to get some cleaning also done in my uh, what do you call it in my daughter's room that room is atrocious it needs like a deep clean something fierce and I can't even see the floor in the corners because things are just piled up so my goal is to maybe get into there at least spend a half hour in there today and maybe every day this week until it's done so I'm going to work that in and then I have also started yesterday afternoon I didn't film this but I did start spot cleaning my carpets. I did all of our step area and then at the top of the steps. So I'm gonna kinda of like take about half hour every day and spot clean throughout the living room and down the hallway and then I will tackle the stains that are appearing on the floor in my girls room which is alarming. I don't know where those stains are coming from. So yeah, <sighs> lots of little cleaning things but that's okay because I'm in total spring cleaning mode. So that's all right. I'm, my hands are, are getting so chapped after yesterday and then today, oh, just in water and bleach. Ugh, not fun. But I'm feeling as if my house is being, is looking and feeling much cleaner. So that is the goal. Oh, I did want to show you one thing. Look at what Zoe brought home from school. <gasps> Isn't this the cutest little thing? She's in a class called Fax. Basically, it's like home ec. Um, and they are in their little sewing project, or they're in their sewing unit. And she made this little felt volleyball in class. And I think it is just adorable. So I wanted to show it with you because I was very proud of her. Um, yeah, I think she did a fabulous job on it. It's all hand sewn. So I thought it was really cute and very creative. So, alright. So I'm going to get to my work on my computer and I will check in with you later. Bye.
for dinner tonight, I am trying a new recipe. It's called Slow Cooker Cream Cheese Crotados? I don't know how to say that. Anyways, it's by... So, it looks pretty good. And I have got everything in the crock pot, and now I need to start putting them together. So this is what the chicken mixture is looking like. It has cream cheese, chicken, spices, basically that's all it is. You throw it in the pot, let it cook for about four hours on high, and this is then you take out the chicken, shred it, put it back in, give it a good stir, and this is what you get. So now I just need to put the stuff together, and it smells amazing, so hopefully it is yummy. It's already like 10 o'clock. My sister and I both had things going on this morning that we wanted to finish up. So 10 o'clock, we're finally getting to the thrift store, which is like an hour late. By the time we get there, it's gonna be like an hour and a half late and all that good stuff is gonna be gone. Oh well, I'm freaking out a bit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, so I'm very excited. I feel like it's been a long time. I know I, d I went last week. I didn't really find much last week, a few things. But, so I'm excited to go this week. It's been pretty slim pickings lately, which is fine. It's probably a good thing because I don't really need anything, really. I just like to find stuff. So, so the morning has gone very well. Unfortunately, Zoe is still not feeling well. She did pretty well for about most of the day, about, I would say half the day yesterday. And then evening came again, and then downhill she went again. So I did not want to know what's going on. Some little bug that is just causing her problems. So she is home again. I'm hoping today is the last day that she's going to be home. At least I want her to get to school at least one day this week. So she's not completely behind. Oh, now she's sneaking up on me. How you feeling? Eh, we got a, a side, a, an eh like that. So hmm, we'll see. <coughs> I was hoping to let her just sleep for a couple of hours and then kind of like bring her to school late, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we'll just give her one more day and then tomorrow we'll see, we'll reassess the situation. So this morning I have done my morning chores, laundry, dishes, lunches, got the kids off to school on time, which is always a good thing. So now I get to go to the thrift store and have some fun. and. So this afternoon I'm going to be working on a few projects also if I stay motivated because normally what happens is I go to the thrift store and then I get home and I want to have lunch and then I get sucked into a show and I want to watch the show and I don't do what I'm supposed to do so but I do rally in the evening though I normally get you know a couple hours worth of work out of me in the afternoon in the evening time so that's good I think mm, there is a volleyball tonight but Zoe is not going to that because she's not feeling well so then it gives me kind of a free evening I don't have to wait around and drop off and pick up so that's kind of nice because there is a basketball game tonight the Badgers are playing I don't know who they're playing it might be Minnesota or Iowa I don't remember but anyways so I want to watch that game for sure because it's almost March Madness time woohoo so hopefully they will do well. They haven't been doing so great the last couple of games. I actually I don't know if they won the last game or not, but it wasn't looking good when I fell asleep. <laughs> so, all right. So that is what's happening for today, and I will check in with you later. What? They didn't win. You they saw that. They lost by ten points. They lost by ten points. Oh, I've been informed they lost by ten points. Not cool. Because here's what here's what happens. I go downstairs. I try to eat dinner and watch a show. 
I get almost to the end of the show, like five minutes to the end of the show, fall asleep. Somebody comes down, normally little Miss Zoe will come down and say, Mom, it's time to go to bed. And I'll say, okay, but I really like sleeping here on the couch. So then they'll just leave me there, which is fine because I do enjoy sleeping on the couch. So I'll wake up on the couch like two o'clock in the morning or so. And then the dog will want to go outside and while I'm waiting for the dog to go outside, I'll sit down on the couch and then I'll fall asleep again and then the dog will start barking and my husband who's working in the next room over will come and let the dog in and then wake me up again <laughs> and then I finally go to bed. It's a vicious cycle folks. I can't help it. It just happens. So anyways, that only the dog thing only happened once. I'm not being mean to my dog, but it wasn't very cold out. It was fine. She was fine. I mean, she was She's just literally an out. ice cube. Yeah. So anyways, it was all good. So yeah. I knew, I knew that I should not have sat down on that couch. I knew it. And I said, oh, there's no way I'll fall asleep. Because, yeah. Wait, fell, I fell asleep. So, okay. All right, seriously, I'll stop chatting now and I will check in with you later. Bye. Hello, I'm in the car again. It's pickup time. I picked up Golly. He's in the back. He's had a fabulous day at school. It is really like sunshiny and gorgeous. Like clouds are so like big and poofy today. But it is chilly and the wind whew, cuts right through you. But that's all right because they're saying Saturday it's going to be 50 degrees. And I'm going to love it. I'm getting out in the backyard wearing my galoshes because it'll be muddy. But I don't care. I'm going in the backyard. Um, and Shelby will love it too, so of course. So yeah, um, volleyball can was canceled for tonight, so I don't have to take Zoe to that, which she wouldn't have been going to anyways because she is sick. Oh, and here comes Sadie, so I will see you later. Doodles! <laughs> Friday morning and finally little Miss Zoe has gone to school. Hallelujah! <laughs> I don't it really hasn't been that bad of a month. It's just been the weirdest illness. Like she's like well the last two days it's been she's fine most of the time during the day, like she'll sleep till like noon. Get up for about three, four hours and then just goes downhill again. It's just the weirdest thing. So anyways, she is back. Hopefully she will make it through the day today. She seemed pretty chipper yesterday or this morning. So we shall see how that turns out. I have spent the morning doing laundry and starting to clean up my daughter's room. Emily and Zoe share a room and oh my Lord, it is atrocious. I mean, I was going to do a clean with me, but it was so bad that I did, I too embarrassed to even show that so <laughs> so I'm getting most of it cleaned up and then I'll probably just do a spring cleaning our um, video on that room because oh my lord it is so disgusting like I had had her clean up Emily is the culprit in that room for sure she is so messy which is so crazy because she used to be my cleanest kid you know she used to be the one that loved having everything all you know organized and in its place but oh my lord come high school and it's just everything everywhere and oh so I had had her clean like a week ago because it was getting like crazy bit bad and she like you know I'm like well clean it up you know and I kind of purge to go through stuff you know so I go in there and lo and behold shoved into the corner is the two trash bags that she wants to get rid of filled just sitting in the corner I'm like oh my lord this is ridiculous Oh, why I didn't see them they were probably covered up all week that's probably why I didn't see them there's probably a blanket over them and I didn't realize what was there oh my lord and then the floor oh my goodness I'm gonna have to rent a cleaner or carpet cleaner because the floor in there is oh I don't know she's she's really into makeup and it's all over the carpet so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that room but oh man it is not a pretty sight people so I gotta crack down on that girl and make sure that she starts cleaning up after herself a whole lot better because that is unacceptable and she's going to get an earful when she gets home today that's for sure <sighs> mom life I tell you
never a good time when you gotta start cleaning. Oh well. So I am on my way over to my sister's house right now. We are headed to Target. Or not Target, I'm sorry, we're headed to Walmart. We don't go to Walmart very often. Just because we prefer Target. And Walmart is a little more out of our way, but we go there every now and then. And the main reason I am going today is because I'm going to use Carrie's um, homemade laundry soap recipe and all the stuff I need for it is at Walmart. So that's like the major thing we're going for today. And then of course I'll probably pick up a few things for dinner tonight and this weekend because um, our refrigerator is pretty much bare. <laughs> it's just terrible. Even JJ commented on how um, He's like, there isn't much in our refrigerator. <laughs> I'm like, I know we need to go to the store, but I'm waiting because I don't want to do it on Thursday. I want to wait till Friday and then I want to be able to do the weekend and then regroup come Monday. So hopefully with a few things from the store today, I can make it through the weekend. Here's my plan. And then come Monday, I will do my big shopping day. That's the plan. So I will talk to you later. My truck is all warmed up. So I can get going. It is only 25 degrees out today, and tomorrow it's supposed to be 50, and ooh, I'm looking forward to that. So I will let you go, and I will check in with you later. Bye. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, bright and early, 10.30. <laughs> um, everyone in the house is finally awake. It's been a slow-moving morning. So everyone pretty much stayed up pretty late last night. I think Jasmine. I don't know. Anyway, so everyone was up late last night, but we are up this morning and motivated. Dishes, you know, all my morning stuff is done. Even paid bills, did a little work around the house. Now my house is looking pretty clean, so now I can focus on the projects that I want to get done today. I have a few crafty projects I want to work on. Um, but yeah, there's really nothing we have to do today. Just things that, you know, just kind of putzing around the house. Um, I am going to head to Michael's uh, because we have a birthday girl in the house this upcoming week. So I want to go to Michael's and do a little birthday shopping for her. And then I will oversee a few kid projects this morning. Also, they have, um, they each have like a kind of organizing chore that they need to do. I think one of them is already done. The other one's working on hers. And the other one still doesn't know that it's about to happen. <laughs> so... What? Is that my new pillow? It is your new pillow, yes. What's gonna happen? I'm just talking about your chores for the day. And I said that you already have yours done, almost. Just have to make your bed and then you're good to go, right? I'm doing that right now. Yeah, okay. Yay! <laughs> so, so also today I would like to get to that carpet cleaning that I worked at, started on yesterday. I know I talked about it yesterday. That actually went surprisingly well. The carpet is looking fabulous right now. There's a couple spots that I need to use like an all-purpose, you know, a better, more crazy cleaner. And basically all I did was to use a mixture of water and Dawn liquid detergent and put it in a spray bottle, sprayed down the area I needed to scrub, and then I took a scrubby, you know, like a sponge with a scrubby pad on the back. So I used the soup sponge, and then I used the scrubby, so yeah, it, I mean, it was a little time consuming. I probably spent, how long do you think I spent, Emily? I, I probably spent at least an hour, maybe closer to two, not real, yeah, no, it was probably just about an hour, about an hour. <laughs> That's so crazy. So I spent about an hour scrubbing the floor, and yeah, it's looking pretty good except for a couple spots, which I think are like lipstick spots. Which what? I don't know. I don't know how else you'd get something that bright red. Um, liquid? No, it's not like a Kool-Aid stain. It's like, because Kool-Aid stains come up, but they don't bleed. This is like bleeding. As I'm scrubbing it, it's like making the carpet around it pink. So I think it's like... Paint? I don't think it's... No, it's not paint. It's either like lipstick or lip gloss or something like that, because it is like bright red on a tan carpet. It looks fabulous. So anyways... So that is what things, one thing I would absolutely love to get done today if I can get those stains up. But there's only like three or four stains. There's only one big one, a couple small ones. So anyways, <sighs> anyways, I'm very chatty today, but that is the plan for the day. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will check in with you in a bit.
All right, so Emily and I went to Michael's this morning to pick up a few things. And the first thing I found was some pale blue paint. Because I have some wooden eggs I want to paint up for Easter, so this will be really cute. And then, of course, I really went to look for planner supplies. And they had the Recollections brand. They had their stickers on sale. Buy two, get one free. So I got two of this type right here. What do they call it? Planner stickers. I don't really have any idea. But basically it's got a lot of... I wanted these little check mark things. So it has a whole bunch of the check marks. So I got two of those which is awesome. And then I picked up another one of these, which has a couple of them, but I just love the little bulldogs and the colors and the little swans. So I already have a pack like this, but I picked up another one because they are almost gone. So I'm very excited about my purchases today. Okay, so this morning my goal is to make mix up this homemade taco seasoning. I don't know why, but the other day I'm like, I should make my own. So I look for some recipes. And this one is from, what is it from? Oh, The Country Cook. So I'll try to rem remember to link it in the description box. But, so here goes. gonna get some crafting done I'm so excited so I picked up these little eggs at the Target dollar spot area what they were three dollars I probably should have got more because I am liking the wooden egg thing and I like it it's in this cute little container so I'm gonna paint these I picked out like a creamy almost a yellowy white which I already had and then what is this one this one is called light buttermilk and then this one is Robin's Egg Blue. How convenient. So I'm going to do three in blue, three in white, and then I'll probably speckle them also with like a dark brown or a black. It's just a simple classic egg look is what I'm going for. And I like, I'm excited to get started on this. So I'm going to start having some fun and painting this. today and it is beautiful outside a little windy a little chilly at the moment but it's sunny and it looks gorgeous out so I'm hoping that it'll warm up throughout the day there's not a whole lot going on today I am just going to be hanging out around the house and so is the family I want to get a couple things done and then there's a basketball game to watch today so almost time for March Madness we're getting pretty excited around here well I'm getting excited no one else is but that's right my sister and I are getting excited because we like some basketball. So, low-key day. I probably won't be on anymore, but I wanted to stop in and say hey and just make wish you a happy Sunday. And I will see you again next week. Bye.